Hello. Um, hello, welcome to this live event on Wingwave, the inspiring short-term coaching method made in Germany. Mm -hmm. And my name is Christiane Newman. I'm a licensed um, master practitioner and trainer of NLP, as well as a certified um, Wingwave coach. And I'm helping people to, um, and to, to with their personal development, as well as with trauma recovery. Uh, today is my great honor and pleasure to speak to one of or two of the co-founders of Wingwave from in Germany. So welcome to Germany there. And regarding the topic of Wingwave, I was fortunate to be trained by the um, co-founders directly at the Besser Siegmund Institute. And in Europe, it, uh, Wingwave is already very well known and is gaining popularity also globally now. Um, because I'm very convinced of its effectiveness, I'm working on informing clients and other professionals about this method so that it will become more accessible in America, hopefully, to, uh, to very soon. So today, I would love to welcome Cora and Lola, both in Germany at the Besser Sigmund Institute, and I would like to introduce them. We will start with them talking about Wingwave, explaining a bit more about the method, the history, uh, giving a brief example how this will work. Then we later have also guests um, on board here, other coaches, professionals, Caroline Rushford from England, Catherine Weiss in Sacramento, and Patricia here in Malibu, California as well. So mm -hmm. I'd love to hear from you all. And uh, yeah, I, I um, would like to introduce Cora. Cora Seg uh, Sig uh, Besser Sigmund is a certified psychologist, licensed psychotherapist, business coach, teaching trainer, co-owner of the Besser Sigmund Institute in Hamburg. She was recognized by Volkswagen as a coach with uh, top quality. And for 30 years, Cora and her husband, Harry Sigmund, the other co-founder, um, have been working on short-term coaching concepts for business and performance, in addition to the scientifically based Wingwave method. Cora is the author of numerous coaching books for self-management programs, as well as for the methods and intervention concept for the professional coaches, trainers, and consultants. Her daughter, Lola, also here, um, she's the business coach, teaching trainer, um, managing director of the Besser Sigmund Institute. She is a business coach, teaching trainer, and mental coach of the business uh, so Big Sigmund Institute. She studied business psychology with a focus on coaching, training, and leadership, and is co founder as well of Wing Rave. She's also the co author of books like System Dynamic Coaching, NLC, or Wing Rave Coaching, like The Beat of the Butterfly Wings. So I'd like to hand over the word to you both to take it from here. Yes, uh, thank you very much, uh, Christiane. Thank you very much for organizing this uh, uh, meeting online. Um, and uh, welcome to everybody who's joining us. Uh, Christiane, you um, told everything very well. I'm Cora from Hamburg. And um, we are very happy to start with telling you that uh, the first Wingwave training we uh, gave in uh, 2001. So next year, uh, we uh, will have made Wingwave or, or made Wingwave well known uh, and working with people for over 20 years. And the new decade is starting next year, so this will be a very good year for being in touch and uh, continuing with Wingwave. And uh, at the end of this year, we will we know it now already. We will certify our eight thousands Wingwave coach, um, and we think that uh, this um, uh, training will be given in Russia and Moscow. And um, we have uh, then over 80,000 Wingwave coaches in over 40 countries. And so we are very happy, Christiane, that you are organizing and you, uh, Katrin and Patricia and um, Caroline, that you are helping us to make Wingwave well known. Um, let me tell, uh, call it in the rest of the world. <laughs> so um, I would like to introduce to you that uh, the Wingwave book um, has been published this year in English language. 
you can buy it as hardcover or as Kindle or as um, an ebook. And um, I will take the opportunity to tell you a little bit about how Wingworth is working and uh, want to give you a little, little mini, mini live demonstration. Um, the wing wave is called uh, an emotion coaching. We are coaching emotions. Why is that so important uh, in, the, um, in the performance field? Um, uh, I would like to tell you some examples. Uh, we are working with wing waves with people who um, have all um, the capability to be successful, but they cannot show it in the right moment. So, uh, pupil learn uh, their vocabularies at home and the next day when there's the test uh, or the exam, then um, half of the vocabulary uh, is gone, they have forgotten it, but it is still there, but they cannot show that they learned it. And uh, we are working a lot, of, uh, a lot with sportsmen and there's the same thing. They are performing very well, high performance. Uh, they have very good results in the training. But then when there's a competition, um, then suddenly they are not as good as in the training. And uh, this has a na certain name in Germany. We call it a uh, training champion, uh, but not competition champion. And when we are saying at business coaching, um, maybe you all uh, made the same experience. You have a discussion which, which is very um, important and controversial thinking and is um, a lot of ideas of many people together. But uh, when do you have your best arguments ready uh, for this discussion, it's not within the discussion, it uh, is coming to your mind when the discussion is over when you're in the elevator. So everything is there, but uh, not uh, at the point. And there um, is uh, the point where WingWave is very effective. We can help people to be uh, in an emotional state which allows them to show what they are able to in the right moment when they need to show what they are uh, able to do or to think or to perform. Um, I would like to give you a little example together with uh, my colleague Mario um, to show you that Wingwave is working with some maybe strange or funny elements. Uh, one of the elements is that uh, we are um, waving in front of the eyes of our coaching clients to move uh, the eyes. And we know that this is a very, very powerful um, resource people have. We also call it new resources. We all have these resources and we only have to switch them online when we are working with people. Uh, scientists found out that uh, when people are, suffer from post-traumatic disorder, Christian, you are also specialized in this, that then they are not able to uh, use their eye movement capability. They are staring like that and they cannot move their eyes. And we found uh, that people who overcome their fear that uh, they show a more vivid eye movement than people who uh, don't um, have a blockade or who are in a stress situation and cannot perform. Yes, but we all make our movements uh, thousands of um, times a day. We are looking to the periphery to, you know, that comes from the Stone Age. Is there a rabbit? Um, is there a tiger? And um, helps us to have orientation in the three-dimensional room. And we are using slow eye movements to focus on a target which we found in the nature to follow it and to uh, be able to react uh, when um, triggers of the um, world are coming into our new, uh, new logic system. So this is the thing with the eye movement. And uh, then we find out where do we have to make this intervention with the eye movement. It has to be on the right spot, on the right point that really helps. And I will show you with Mario how we find out where we should make the wing of the butterfly. 
Yes, you see the butterfly here behind. This means that the wing of the butterfly at the right point can change the climate on the other continent. So when we are finding the right point uh, with this test, I will show you soon, we can um, move uh, the eyes and um, help, the, uh, help the brain to react creative and flexible. Mario, may I show it with you? Mm -hmm. uh, first of all, I don't want to make these butterflies sing with you. I want to find out how strong you are tonight, okay? Or in this morning, we have... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> right. for, for us, it's, it's evening, and but it's functioning um, in every time of the day, I promise. Mm -hmm. So, Mario, uh, you make... Uh, yes, everybody can see it. And you hold uh, this ring very strongly, and I pull, and you hold it. Yes, and Mario is really strong uh, tonight still. He worked all the day, I know it. Uh, <laughs> so and now the other uh, combination and another combination, very good. Now please take uh, the first combination again and please uh, say the pizza is too hot to fly. The pizza is too hot to fly. <laughs> the pizza is too hot to eat. The pizza is too hot to eat. Uh -huh. My name is uh, Mary. My name is Mary. <laughs> <laughs> and your right name? My name is Mario. Uh -huh. So this uh, looks a little bit funny, but we can explain it in the book. Uh, tonight we have no time enough. So um, I only can tell you when we have uh, um, uh, irritation in new linguistic patterns, uh, then everybody is reacting with, um, um, with, with a weak uh, muscle reaction. And um, with this compass, we can find out if the person can cope with the situation or not. So I will uh, prepare Mario to become a famous speaker. Uh, I hope it doesn't function because <laughs> we need him here. <laughs> but um, I will, uh, in spite of, I will do my very best. Yes. So Mario, um, um, imagine that you are giving a speech. Mm -hmm. Yes. And uh, first of all, I will try how many people can come. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, please um, say I talk to 100 people. I talk to 100 people. No problem. Yes. Um, I uh, talk to 1,000 people. I talk to 1,000 people. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, I talk to, talk to everybody in the world. Talk to everybody in the world. Well, that's too much. That's, but it could happen. Yes, Christiane, when you did a good job and everybody's watching this now. <laughs> so Mario can imagine that maybe the whole world is watching. <laughs> <laughs> yes, so now and please say maybe look here and say mm -hmm. maybe I'm talking to everybody in the world now. I'm talking to everybody in the world. Now. Yeah, this, this is too much. Mm -hmm. Yes. But we will change this. So why, why shouldn't we talk to everybody in the world? Hmm? Um, maybe we have interesting things to say and why shouldn't we uh, allow other people to know about uh, our uh, thoughts and our ideas? Yes? Mm -hmm. So what is the problem? <laughs> well, the problem is on your side, the problem is on the people who are listening to you. Yes, so he uh, has a mirror neuron stress with people who will watch this great speech, which will be so famous. Yes, and um, uh, he will uh, in the, uh, the world. Yes, the people maybe they are um, a little bit disappointed. So when they say, Oh, uh, that is a famous speaker now. Mm -hmm. No, they are not disappointed. Also, Mario um, can do what he wants and he can cope with the situation that people could be disappointed. Could be if everybody in the world is listening. Huh? There might be one person. Yes. <laughs> okay. So, uh, another thing. Huh? People uh, might be uh, helpless. Mm -hmm. They might be helpless because not everybody can talk German or English. Mm -hmm. Maybe there are people who uh, only can understand uh, um, uh, 
maybe French, <laughs> Italian <laughs> or English, that's heißt English, English, mm -hmm. Hindi. Mm -hmm. So all the poor people who only can understand Hindi, huh? They will be helpless when Ma is talking English. Mm -hmm. So it's, uh, this is uh, disturbing you when I say talk to everybody in the world. Mm -hmm. Yes, but maybe in India there's also one person who can talk English and translate it to his friends or her friends. Yes. Mm -hmm. But maybe there's a person uh, watching your speech and said, oh, what did he say? Hmm? Look at me. Well, so what did you say? <laughs> so why do you fear that this could disturb you? Your well being and being a great speaker. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Living us, yes, okay. Uh, feel your fingers and look at my uh, fingers. And now I will move your eyes and think at poor people who are not able to understand what you are talking. Yes, many, many people will watch you and maybe they don't understand what you're trying to tell. Okay, mm -hmm. please say they will overcome. They will overcome. Mm -hmm. Okay, they can cope with it. They can cope with it. People, uh, friends can have this translation. People, uh, friends can have what you say. Okay, so you can try. Thank okay, you. <laughs> <laughs> so that was it. Thank you. Um, and uh, this is what we are making the sportsmen. We are testing every part of the game, maybe football playing. It is the ball, it is uh, other colleagues, uh, it is uh, um, the fans of the other, um, uh, that has equipment, uh, of the other team. We can make um, every little uh, trigger test, find out where the person is not uh, strong enough to cope with it and make it better. Okay. Wonderful. Maybe like, Wonderful. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much for the demonstration also to make that more clear. And, <laughs> and I would love to, um, I would love to invite um, your daughter Lola to talk a bit about her youth and, and her work if that's now the time for it. Lola, are you there? You're muted, Lola. Hi. <laughs> Once again, uh, I just started a watch party on Facebook. And um, yeah, I just uh, want to add some things about uh, special topics. Uh, we we do with our wing wave coaching so what cora just showed you is um the basic intervention but we are also we also have profoundizations for example in sports coaching we have lots of research about sports coaching about um, people running faster jumping higher or um, uh, hitting more goals in a special amount of time and um, we do wing wave in business coaching and in many fields. So that's what makes wing wave so interesting for many people and in different um, with different people they work with, you know. And our latest um, and very interesting target audience, we call it, um, that's uh, children. We uh, worked with children for a long time and now we collected all our knowledge, all our information in a book. Um, it's called Wing Wave Coaching for Children and Youngsters. And maybe it will be published in English too someday. And what um, people or what the little children really like is our little puppets, they're called Wing and Wave. So we did everything to make wing wave, the basic intervention interesting for little children too. So that's, that's a wave, that's wing. And what you can do is just wave with these little puppets. Just a funny thing, of course, you can use all the puppets you have at home. My daughter loves it. And we, um, she talks about her problems uh, to this pu these puppets and you can do little interventions 
because of course children uh, don't follow you as um, long as adults do. But what we can say is um, the process is much faster. So you're finished after a really, really short amount of time and the child will say, oh, now it's, it's all strong. And that's already a really big intervention for them to see beforehand it was all weak. When I thought about this girl that's always annoying me and always doing this, and then it's strong. And that's um, for children, they really love this uh, body effect they feel on themselves when the stress is gone and they are in a good mood and now can cope with the situation. What we also use are these puppets. Say hello to Emma. And with Emma, you can also do interventions. And what children most times do is uh, talk to the puppet and not to the coach anymore, which with which uh, you have to hold strong. But um, it's a really, really nice way uh, to apply this method um, in the field of uh, children. And also, of course, parents. You all heard about um, home office, homeschooling. Um, that's something that uh, makes, puts people under a lot of pressure to be a teacher on the one hand, to be um, a father or mother on the other hand. And um, in this time, in these times where we couldn't get into such a close contact with our clients, we also um, invented Wingwave online coaching, which is really interesting for many people who now uh, have a big distance, not only because of Corona, but also when they're business people traveling a lot and you already have a really stable relationship to your client, um, which you want to keep on online. So that's just a little overview about um, special fields you can apply Wingwave with. And um, what many people ask me how it works, it's uh, you, have your, um, you have your knowledge, you are already a coach, a therapist, you are already um, good in what you're doing in your field and you want to add the Wingwave technique on what you're already doing. And um, you want to apply the technique if, um, if it's necessary. And um, that's what people um, really enjoy about this method. Thank you very much. Thank you for the explanation. And um, I have several guests now on there. We also have an international uh, video from Australia because Nicole Lorden, who is head of the uh, Wingwave there, uh, how trainings and coaching in Australia, couldn't be here live because it's about 3 a.m. there right now. So she sent us beforehand a video I would like to um, share now with you so that you can see that she says hello. Uh, before we go on with our live team here on board. So let me just uh, bring that up. Oh, where am I? Sharing. Hi everyone, I'm Nicole. Thank you so much for the opportunity to quickly say hi to you all and introduce myself. I hope you're enjoying this online info session about wingwave coaching and I'm sure you'll be as impressed with this powerful and well-researched method and its sustainable and efficient results as I am. So a little bit about myself and my connection with wingwave. I'm one of three Wingwave coaches in Australia and I'm based in Melbourne, Victoria. I had the pleasure to train with the Wingwave founders Cora and Harry in Hamburg, Germany in 2013. And in 2014, I continued um, with the Magic Words Trainer and also with a course called Mit Freude läuft besser, which is all about how joy can impact your performance and results. And earlier this year, I trained as a Wingwave online coach with Caroline. 
So I'm a wing wave coach and I'm also a leadership coach, a certified emotional intelligence practitioner and workplace well-being trainer. Over the past 20 years, I've had the privilege to work with individuals and organizations, helping them to develop the right mindsets required to thrive and succeed personally and professionally. Are you someone who's been thinking about taking that next big step? The one that will bring more fulfillment, joy and happiness and ultimately more success? Have you been dreaming about being at your peak professionally and at your best personally? And do you want to live a more valuable and meaningful life? Just imagine what it would mean to you if you could take that vision and turn it into reality. How would it feel? How would it look like for you? And why hasn't it happened yet? So that's the big question. And that's exactly where most of my clients get stuck. And that's when they come and see me. They have the vision, but they can't turn it into reality. They all live quite successful lives, personally and professionally. However, they can't put their finger on it as per what's in the way of taking that next big step. So let me tell you a little bit about a recent client of mine. Let's call her Heidi. Heidi's been working in HR for 10 years in the same company. Heidi's boss was very happy with her performance and felt that she was ready to take the next step to take on the role of HR manager. This would mean stepping into a higher leadership role. But Heidi felt overwhelmed and blocked when thinking about it. There was this uncomfortable feeling in her stomach. It felt a bit like fear and anxiety. It was especially strong when she thought about the responsibilities of successfully leading and influencing a team. Most team members became friends of hers and how could she successfully step into this new role being their manager? It felt a bit like there was something in the way, something holding her back, but she just didn't know quite what it was. Often it's our emotions and beliefs that get in the way of living our most productive and meaningful life. So these limiting subconscious beliefs are stopping or triggering us and that's exactly where wing wave comes in and that's also where I love using wing wave coaching. Wing wave allows us to not only locate the exact triggers, stressors or beliefs that are hijacking our performance and preventing us from successfully achieving our goals, a wing wave intervention also helps shift those feelings of stress so they can diminish and ebb away with lasting results. So going back to my client Heidi, with wing wave, we were able to identify the exact triggers. In her case, her fear and anxiety was linked to an experience from the past. In high school, her teacher asked her to lead a project and many of her team members were her good friends. However, one of her good friends was jealous of her for being chosen and she started to disrespect her and disrupt the teamwork. And then her teacher wasn't impressed with the project the team delivered and blamed Heidi for it as she was the team leader. So this experience was stuck in Heidi's subconscious as a stress imprinting and still affected her today. Only two wing wave interventions were needed for Heidi to process this experience from the past and she was ready to take on the role of the HR manager and she's doing a fabulous job at it. So Heidi's case is one of so many where my client wasn't aware of the emotional block. They didn't quite know what was stopping them, what was holding them back or what was making them feel uncomfortable and overwhelmed. And with conventional coaching methods, I believe, we wouldn't have been able to identify the stress trigger so quickly and then shift them so efficiently and with lasting results. Wingwave has enhanced my work massively and it makes it much easier to work as a coach and to help clients overcome mental blocks and limiting beliefs so they can perform at their peak. I'm very excited to announce that we will be having the first Wingwave coaching training in Australia next year in 2021. So if you're a coach or a practitioner, a therapist or a trainer, then don't miss this opportunity to learn an advanced coaching technique and train as a Wingwave coach. Adding a powerful coaching method like Wingwave to your coaching toolbox will help you transform your clients' lives and ultimately grow your business. 
And for all the ICF coaches out there, Wingwave is now certified as a continuing coach education, CCE, by the International Coach Federation, ICF. Points can be contributed to CPD. So if you'd like to know more about wing wave coaching and training in Australia or how I work and how I can serve you best, please contact me. My details are on the next slide. Thanks so much for listening. Have a lovely day. Thank you. All right. Thank you very much, Nicole, for sending that video. And uh, I'm glad you mentioned the ICF um, educational credits. That's really important because we will also have a seminar here in Los Angeles next year, next September. We had to move that, of course, due to the COVID situation. And now it will be happening on the 9th of September to the 12th of September here in Los Angeles. You can find the information on the Wingwave website, the main wingwave.com website, as well as on my website for mindwellnesscoaching.com. So I hope if you're here in America somewhere and have interest, please contact me. And, um, and now I would like to invite Caroline Rushford to speak with us. She is, uh, Caroline is a certified NLP coach and is a Wingwave trainer for the UK. Um, Caroline has been using Wingwave in her practice for over eight years and uses the two modalities together with fantastic results. Caroline has a regular updated training schedule on her website, carolinerushforth.com. Hi, welcome Caroline. Hi, Christian. Thank you for having me. Um, so, yeah, I just wanted to say I, yeah, I'm a freedom from anxiety coach. That's what I do. Um, and I'm also Wingwave trainer of the UK, very excitingly. Um, and I would say that my uh, journey into Wingwave was back in probably like 2011, 2012, where I tried so many other different um, modalities to shift a um, emotional eating pattern. I tried many talking therapies, I tried hypnotherapy, I tried so many other different techniques and this was about 15 years in um, and then I actually ended up having a couple of sessions and I really started to notice, notice the difference straight away so that was just incredible and I think when you're working with clients and I've been using NLP and coaching in my business previous to that I just wanted to find something that sort of cuts the corners a bit, to be honest. I'd spent a lot of money and a lot of investment in seeing many, many people. I hadn't really resonated with those particular modalities. Um, and I just re what I love about Wing Wave is it just kind of cuts the corners a bit. You know, you, you use the muscle test to sort of navigate yourself, navigate clients into, you know, past times in their life where they've had emotional stress or if there's an emotionally charged thought or memory and you're able to go in and then, you know, use the rapid eye movement technique to wave it away. So I had to go and train in it. And then I trained with Cora, Cora in 2012. I worked really hard to become an expert because I loved the technique so much that I wanted to, um, if I could, be the trainer of the UK. And I'm really pleased that I managed to step into that role. Um, and I've been doing that now for about six or seven years, I think. So we have about, um, 20, about 20 coaches here in the UK now. So it's still very much organic growth. Um, and I'm, I'm excited about the growth here in the UK. Um, and I would say that particularly the areas that my clients get the most effective results are, I, I work a lot with anxiety. I've helped clients who have had panic attacks for many, many years and we've completely dissolved them. I've worked with them to clear sleep anxiety, trauma anxiety, um, and I've also, you know, sort of general sort of day-to-day -day emotional stresses. Um, and the thing that's just so amazing about Wing Wave is it's just so transformational. People start to feel a difference within the first session. And so they, they're willing to come back. They want to come back and they want to have more. And it's really important to me that my clients feel some kind of tangible change because having been that person who'd invested a lot of money in other things and haven't really felt much of a difference necessarily, I think they've all had their place and they've all contributed in some way. Um, I'm just really passionate about the fact that people can really feel a change, um, you know, sooner rather than later. Um, and they love that as well, because they know that the money's been well spent, they've invested in themselves and they've got the results that they've wanted. So that's that's the reason that I love it. So 
Um, yeah, I've been training now in the UK for about seven years. Um, I hold my trainings in Brighton um, and I do about three a year. Um, and we also now have the English Wingwave book, which I'm really pleased that Cora mentioned because there's a lot of people here who want to learn about Wingwave, but you know, we haven't had really a, too much information to sort of give in English. Um, so really excited about that. Hopefully Cora will be translating more books for us in the UK. Um, so, and it is very much about coaching emotions. It's about using the muscle test to navigate into where there are stress triggers in the subconscious mind, instead of sitting there and consciously thinking where a problem or a, uh, a pain is, we can use the muscle test to navigate into where a particular stress is and we can get there straight away. And as Cora said, get to the specific point where that stress was and then do the rapid eye movement. And then that processes it off into the subconscious mind, into the, into the right places, a bit like unpacking the shopping bags after a big shop. And people feel generally lighter, like they've had their, the fog's been cleared. They feel like some weight's been lifted off their shoulders. They, their eyes are just sparkly and awake and they just look, you know, you can really see the shifts in, you know, their whole entire uh, body language. So as a coach, it's a real joy to see that because you can see there's been a shift there. And I'd also just like to mention, um, you know, I've trained a lot of coaches um, and therapists um, in this technique who have been using other modalities and, you know, they come and they have amazing shifts as well. And there's always such lovely feedback. They feel really transformed. They feel like, you know, it's like they found that thing that, that they just really needed to find to help them help their clients to move forward you know in terms of their personal life so if you do want to know more about the people that I've worked with I mean I've used wing wave with hundreds of clients now um, and I've trained many coaches and therapists you can also find out more information on my Caroline Rushforth wing wave UK Facebook page where I've had um, where I've plenty of reviews there to give you an idea about how it's worked for other coaches um, I've also got reviews on Google if you just Google my name um, you can see from a client perspective the kind of results that clients have had. And I love that people are willing to kind of share the shifts that they get because, you know, when a client, when we're working with clients, the most authentic thing is for them to see how it's helped somebody else without us just telling them, oh, you know, it's great. Um, they can actually see the results that other clients have had. Um, and then finally, I do have a YouTube channel, Caroline Rushforth again, um, where I'm really trying to <laughs> put as many demos up in English as I can. I've got, an, an ex I've got another one that I can put up as a result of coaching uh, a, a training that I did a couple of weeks ago. Um, so I will be putting that up on the YouTube channel soon. And I would also just like to congratulate Milena um, who might be watching. I hope she doesn't mind mentioning, but it's our first coach in Scotland. So I think that's a round of applause. Um, so, you know, we're slowly making our way around the UK um, and into other areas. So, yeah, really exciting time. And yes, the ICF um, also uh, relates to here in the UK. So you can use the points through the International Coaching Federation for your continual professional development as well. And I'm happy to talk to you more about how that works. All right. Thank you, Thank you so much, Caroline. I appreciate that. Thank you very much. You're welcome. So I have the next guest would be for um, Catherine Weiss. And can you all hear me? Okay, uh, the window hasn't changed. Uh, let me just see. Let's do it that way again. All right. So um, the next guest will be Catherine Weiss, um, who will be speaking about that Wing Wife is not just as a coaching itself, but also in business very helpful. So that's her specialty, really. Um, so Catherine uh, was born in Switzerland. She studied pharmaceutical science and worked for over a decade internationally in the healthcare sector before she founded her coaching and training company, uh, Bechting CTC. She works since 2008 full-time as uh, executive coach, leadership trainer, and change agent. She uses Wingwave since 2008. And I know that she's also the author of a book called Dare to Trust. So welcome, Catherine. <laughs> yeah, you just realize how old you are when you go back in your training cycles and kind of like, yay, it's it's 12 years that I use Wingwave. And um, it's such a pleasure. I learned it from Cora. 
and um, and and her husband and I studied also with Lola NLP a, a little bit later on here in California where I'm now um, being. I am in San Jose, um, so not in Sacramento, just a little different. Um, I there there are kind of like two stories of how I use wing wave. There is the wing wave story used in in practice in Europe where literally 80% of my business client at one time point, I have had a little wing wave session on an emotional problem they have to overcome. Could it be, I have to speak such as Cora has demonstrated in front of those people and I just am so worried that I forget it. So we worked on that worry um, within a 20 minute cycle or it was something about, um, someone has broken into my office and now I don't feel safe in my office anymore and I cannot work in my office anymore because I'm too worried that someone breaks in. There was two wing wave sessions on that. But mainly I use it um, also how Cora has said about not believing that they are as good as they are in the moments of the performance they have to do. Is it the speech? Is it the exam? Is it the employment interview? Is it giving the speech of having this new position uh, in it. And it always has to do with something that we experienced in the past as, as Caroline also so nicely um, said it and or how, um, how Cora has um, alluded to it. One of the most recent example I have was um, is a business leader here in the Silicon Valley. Um, he is really a wonderful person and a good storyteller for anything that is within the company because there the people know him and they and he knows that they know him and it seems everything is fine the moment he needs to make the speech to the public audience outside that was very interesting oh in-house it's not an issue it held strong and he was like yay that's good outside where was it and we could within one session of 60 minutes trigger it back that he feels that he has to prepare for every possible thing that can come. And as soon as you're talking to an audience that is not from within, there are so many more opportunities of questions to be asked that you have never heard in your life, you know, as little or as big as they are. And while we rationally think, you know, if you are at a certain manager level or general manager level, that shouldn't be an issue. It actually was going back to an exam in his engineer study when he was 21, where he failed an exam in the first run. And he told himself back then, I haven't prepared enough. I was not prepared for any possible questions that could come. And that stuck with him for 30 years. And that was having the one thing of on site when he has to go to the presentation that he wasn't wasn't himself, he wasn't rooted, he wasn't on his wealth, but more so he overly prepared. So for a presentation of one hour to the public, he prepared like 40 to 50 hours presenting, not putting the content together. That was already there, but he prepared for 50 hours about to give that one hour presentation. And that was in no relation to effect, you know, effort in effect. So we worked on it and he was just giving a last week a new presentation and he prepared something like five to six hours, which is a huge success. Mm -hmm. And we were, he was kind of like, we, we mentioned the trust basis, you know, Lola said, when you have a good relationship, you can do it online. And I was having that effect because we also worked a little bit before on other topics. So I could go in one session very targeted what muscles he said I trust you we do it and dang it was there but it was also one of my first going back um, the memory train one of my first coaches was actually an apprentice just right before the final exam in Switzerland of a um, auto mechanic apprentice the only female in that in that training exercise and she was actually faced with the reality that if the next exam that she's doing is not having a certain level, she will not be allowed to go to the final exam and all, all her apprentices will be gone. The point was she is an A student. She was an A student, but she was having so much anxiety of exam, 
We worked for 90 minutes on a Sunday afternoon outside in front of a car that somehow needed, was important to have a car next to her. And she was one of the persons that best finished the apprenticeship of the 90 minutes of that coaching session. I never met her before in my life. I just met her on the spot. The mother was there somewhere. We were in front of that car and we were having ridiculously metaphors such as Lola's talked about the children. Okay, she was, she was kind of like 18, but still the mental was very metaphorical with the car and, and all those tools. So I just have myself so magical moments, little interventions, big interventions that everyone that I am accompanying in their business life, you know, having, having finished your apprenticeship, having a presentations to the outside, being able to go in the next step, that makes it really, really wonderful. Um, I do believe that if you can use it with the knowledge of any other coaching or therapy, that you can work it so situationally that it doesn't need to be today is your official wing wave session. It can be really spontaneously coming up that you're saying, hey, I think I have something. How's about that? And you put it as a sequence within a bigger process. So that's what I truly love about wing wave. I also have used it just as the last example myself. I needed to evacuate due to the fires here three weeks ago. I came back home. Everything is safe. I still have my home, but the anxiety was here. There is the wing wave CD resource that I put on the wing wave music. And I was going into my anxiety. I was listening to that music of the two wing wave sessions with myself. I was also tapping with myself. It was gone. And you can say, yes, it's because you do it since 12 years, but no, my sister-in-law has, has used the wing wave music as well to work on her anxiety and she has never done wing wave and it worked perfectly as well for her. So those are just some examples that I would have loved to share um, with you how WingWave can be easily, modularly, very variably, flexibly be implemented in what you as a coach already know. And for you as a coachee, you just can be excited to explore magic. Thank you so you much, Catherine. Beautifully said, thank you. So, um, yeah, and I really appreciate that. It was kind of interesting because I spent yesterday the whole day to practice, to, to go online, make this happen with Facebook. And then earlier when we went online, there was a gateway problem that we had not encountered yesterday at all. So I hope everyone found us here and thanks for, um, for being so flexible with this. So we have also Patricia with us and I don't want to have her to talk too much because she just had a surgery but she said no I'm coming online I'm supporting everyone and uh, you know definitely she she is a psychologist so Patricia Zavanitsa in Malibu um, she received her degree in psychology in Barcelona where she did work as a therapist she did move to California where she did become a life coach and a master NLP practitioner after training with Cora and learning about wing wave she is now working as a wing wave coach and using it with all other techniques that she knows about but from psychology. So if you want to just say hello, Patricia, yeah. Yes, then uh, thank you so much. And thank you, Cora and Lola. Because one thing I wanted to say was that even if you're a therapist, a coach, whichever technique you are using, uh, wing wave is for me my compass. People come and they talk to me about an issue. And before I, I knew about wing wave, it took me a long time to guide myself to what was really crucial in what they were telling me and how to help them, even if I knew NLP and all those things. Now I'd always stop and I said, let me, we're gonna ask. And then I use the muscle test and we go very fast to where the issue is. Before I needed many sessions that I don't need anymore. In one session I can, begin and finish a, a, a full subject and people go home full. They don't go home thinking, oh, I have to go next time. We achieve a lot in one session. Sometimes I travel and I have clients in Barcelona where I only see them because of a long story with, you know, I go to a, to a place where they allowed me to work and I do one session and I don't come back in six months and that's fine. They get something 
then that's amazing that whichever NLP I can use wing weight with any NLP technique, you, you name it. I know how to add wing weight. I can use wing weight. The new fashion now, the new big thing is family constellations. I do individual constellations. I use wing weight all the time. Without wing wave, I, I don't work as efficient as I do with wing wave. I use wing with me, my genogram, when you, you work with your family history, I use wing wave to guide me quickly to where the issue is. Then I feel I don't lose my time and I don't lose my client's time. They leave and they feel they learn something about themselves that's useful because we go to their story, not my, what I'm thinking, but what really is happening. And that for me is amazing. Then I cannot, I cannot not use wing wave. <laughs> I have to, even if we're doing a talk therapy, I'm like, hold on a second, let me check something. I use wing wave in my everyday life. I have two seniors that are 17 going to college. They're athletes. They compete at a very high level. Each one, boy and girl, one is a goalie and plays golf, competes, and one is a volleyball player. And they block themselves on and off because they compete. And I can help them quickly before a competition. Doesn't have to be a whole session. I can say, hold on, calm down, let me check. I help them before a test. I have clients that have fear of driving LA is a big place, fear of driving is a big fear. And we can do three sessions and that's it, that's it. I don't need more, they don't need more than, I feel it's such an amazing tool that we, wherever you are, coach, whatever, therapist, you can use it. You can add it and it's gonna add an amazing tool to your luggage, you will, you will have a compass. It's gonna add so much that, I mean, and now one thing that's crucial for me in Wing Wave is having Cora, having your husband, having Lola, that you don't stop researching. Like during the lockdown, they train us to work online with music, with storytelling, with magic words with an app in our phone, all those things, there is no other techniques, not, not other areas where you have someone that keeps on finding new ways to add to add to, to wing wave. And constantly they are researching and they're adding more and more and more. Then thank you so much. Thank you very much for sharing this. And yes, thank you so much for bringing up the, the app. Um, so I'm not quite sure if you, everyone watched from the very beginning, but if you replay this video, you will get a little bit short of an example of about two minutes of Wing Way music that I've added for the waiting time that we were before we started to go live. And so you will get an, kind of like a little bit of a sample there. And there is also on the app, like a free um, example to download as well. And there are different ones also to purchase different music um, this one was motion which is like a walk on, on on the beach i believe so connected with the, with the nice music um, very helpful the bilateral stimulation and uh, yeah and it's very exciting i mean i was first intrigued when i heard about uh, ewing rave because i did nlp for such a long time at that time already and this is combining the NLP with the eye movement integration and the muscle testing. And I thought that's an interesting combination. I wanted to learn about that. And because I am a coach here, I'm not, I mean, we don't want to really bring EMDR into it really, but it is part of it in a way similar. People would say it's similar to this. Yes, it is. Uh, but EMDR comes originally from neuro-linguistic programming. And so that's why it's the eye accessing um, uh, you know, it's kind of all involved basically the eye integration. And we're also using different, we're using the visual, the auditory, and also the kinesthetic waving in there as well. So there's a slight difference. Um, and 
you know, this is really exciting. So I would like to pass on the word to Cora because we're kind of about to wrap it up now. And we have some exciting news besides the regular training that we have. We have also another online training coming on in January that will be about neural resources. So I would love to have Cora talk about that a bit. Okay, thank you, Christiane. Um, at the beginning, I already told you that also uh, the eye movement is a new resource. What do we understand when we say new resource? We mean that in our uh, new biological system, we have a lot of capabilities we are using every day. And uh, the coach um, doesn't have to teach the people uh, to train these capabilities, they are there. We are moving our eyes in the night when we are processing uh, our, um, uh, our information uh, which came to our system during the day. We are uh, moving our eyes when we want to uh, be in touch with the target. Uh, we make uh, very fast eye movements when we want to um, 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 change uh, our um, focus on another target. And uh, this is what people do every day. The coach doesn't have to tell them to do this, but the coach only has to switch it online. Yes. Another thing is that we are combining Wingwave with uh, some um, knowledge about the nervous system. We are making this um, stimulation by tapping uh, the uh, chest um, because behind uh, this region there is a nerve which is called vagus nerve and this vagus nerve is responsible for the uh, for the heart that it is uh, functioning and when we are tapping this uh, then we are suddenly we, we take a deep breath and the vagus system starts working and then we are stronger feel better can breathe better and when we are moving our eyes, it is also a vagus stimulation. The vagus nerve is starting uh, in the brain and is um, um, then uh, uh, everywhere in the body, also in the tummy, but in between the um, ears, uh, it is um, in the bundle. And when you're using your eye movement, then it's also a vagus stimulation. But uh, the vagus is already there. The coach doesn't add it to the person. The coach knows that it is there. Another thing, when we make online coaching, yes, then we have the monitor. And the monitor uh, doesn't allow the eyes to go to the periphery of our, um, of our uh, visual field. And then we uh, tell the people when we make online coaching that they don't only look in the middle of the screen, that they, when they are thinking at a good feeling or at a good, uh, target, that they move their eyes very slowly by thinking at this target um, to the wall, to the other world outside. Because we know when we, you are doing this, the brain is working better and you only have to know it and then you can make a nice combination with every intervention. And there are some more examples about this, the placebo effect, things like that. Yes, and um, in January, we will give uh, an online workshop, yes, about this knowledge. And this is very interesting that we can um, use new resources in combination with um, online and uh, interventions and with live event, um, interventions and with WingWeb, of course. And WingWeb is a new resource itself because by moving your eyes, you're always in a resource state. Yes. So this is what we will talk about in January. Thank you. And I'm excited about that one too. And, mm -hmm. and, and I'm also learning about more about trauma informed you know, that's what my specialty is, basically. And I know that um, Bessel van der Kolk had done some brain studies that we retrieve information differently based on the eyes, definitely. So they are they're scientifically proven. So definitely excited mm. to learn more about okay. this. Mm. So uh, thank you all very much. And um, if there are any questions, please, wherever country you are, please, you find um, Wingwave coaches on the Coach Finder on the main wingwave website wingwave.com and otherwise just please contact any one of us in different countries we're happy to answer your questions or find out whatever needs to be found out for you um, so thank you very much everyone and yeah 
thanks for joining i'm going to end this now thank you thank you bye. thank you very thank much you. <laughs> bye bye, bye. <laughs>